Martha had always been drawn to horses. As a child, she spent hours riding through the hills, feeling the wind in her hair and the earth beneath her feet. But as she grew older, Martha's passion for horses only deepened, and she couldn't bear the thought of any of them suffering needlessly. One day, Martha received a distressing call from a friend who frequented horse auctions. Her friend spoke of a young mare from Texas Ranch, pregnant and bound for the slaughterhouse. Martha's heart sank at the news. She couldn't bear the thought of such a fate befalling an innocent soul, especially one carrying new life within her. Determined to save a mare and her unborn foal at any cost, Martha sprang into action without hesitation. With a sense of urgency burning in her chest, Martha reached for her phone and dialed the number listed on the auction site. I want to bid on pregnant horse number 786, she declared firmly. After a tense bidding war, Martha emerged victorious. Mare was hers. With a sense of determination burning in her chest, Martha set out to rescue the mare from her grim fate. Arriving at the auction house, Martha was met with a scene of chaos and despair. Horses of all shapes and sizes stood in cramped pens, their eyes reflecting fear and uncertainty. Martha's heart broke at the sight, but she pushed forward, determined to find her mare and bring her to safety. Finally, Martha spotted her, a beautiful young mare with a gentle expression and a rounded belly. Without hesitation, Martha approached her heart, pounding with anticipation. As Martha reached out to stroke the mare's velvety nose, she felt a sense of connection, unlike anything she had ever experienced before. It was as if the mare knew that Martha was her savior, her guardian angel in human form. Martha named her Ica. As Martha led Ica into her ranch, the mare's condition painted a grim picture of neglect and hardship. Ica's once lustrous coat now hung in tangled mats, a testament to days spent without care or attention. Her ribs protruded beneath her thin frame, evidence of the starvation she had endured. Each step seemed to weigh heavily on Ica's weary body. Her movements were sluggish and labored. Yet, despite the physical toll, Martha could see something stirring within Aika, a flicker of resilience that refused to be snuffed out. In the depths of Aika's tired eyes, Martha glimpsed a glimmer of hope, a silent plea for a second chance, for the opportunity to experience kindness and compassion once more. And in that moment, Martha knew that she was determined to be the one to provide it. With a gentle touch and a heart full of compassion, Martha embarked on Aika's journey to recovery with unwavering dedication. She meticulously crafted a nutritious diet tailored to Aika's specific needs, ensuring she received the essential vitamins and minerals to replenish her depleted body. Each meal was thoughtfully prepared with fresh hay, grains, and supplements carefully measured to promote Aika's health and well-being. In addition to nourishing her body, Martha devoted countless hours to grooming Aika, tending to every inch of her weary frame with meticulous care. With patient hands, she gently untangled the knots in Aika's mane and tail, working methodically to restore them to their former luster. As Martha brushed away the dirt and grime of her past, she whispered words of comfort and reassurance, letting Aika know that she was safe now, that she was loved. Through these simple acts of kindness, Martha formed a deep bond with Aika, one built on trust and mutual understanding. With each stroke of the brush, she felt a connection growing stronger between them, a silent understanding that transcended words. And as Aika basked in the warmth of Martha's care, her spirit began to soar, her once dulled eyes sparkling with newfound hope and vitality. But it wasn't just physical care that Aika needed. 
She also needed love and reassurance, something Martha was more than willing to provide. She spent countless hours sitting with Aika in her stall, whispering words of comfort and encouragement, letting the mayor know that she was safe now, that she was loved. But just as Martha thought they had turned a corner, Aika's pregnancy took a dangerous turn. The young mare began experiencing complications, her labor becoming increasingly difficult and fraught with danger. Martha knew she had to act fast. She called her vet doctor's team immediately. As Martha and the vet doctor continued their vigil by Aika's side, the young mare's condition grew more critical with each passing moment. Her breathing became labored and she showed signs of distress as the labor pains intensified. Martha's heart clenched with worry, knowing that Aika's life hung in the balance along with that of her precious foal. With determination fueling her actions, Martha sprang into action, assisting the vet as they worked tirelessly to stabilize Aika and ease her suffering. They administered medication to alleviate the pain and reduce the risk of complications, all while providing tender care and reassurance to the frightened mare. Hour after agonizing hour, Martha and the vet doctor remained by Aika's side, their hearts heavy with concern as they waited for signs of progress. And then finally, after what felt like an eternity of waiting and worrying, Aika's struggles gave way to a moment of sheer triumph. With a final push, Aika brought her beautiful colt into the world, a tiny, fragile being that symbolized hope and new beginnings. Martha's eyes filled with tears of relief and joy as she cradled the newborn foal in her arms, marveling at the miracle of life that had unfolded before her. In that moment, all the hardships and challenges they had faced faded into insignificance, replaced by an overwhelming sense of gratitude and wonder. For Martha, witnessing the birth of Aika's foal was a moment she would cherish forever, a reminder of the power of love, resilience, and the unbreakable bond between a woman and her horses. As Aika nuzzled her precious foal, Martha knew that their bond was unbreakable. Together they had overcome adversity and emerged stronger than ever. And as they stood together, in the warm glow of the Texas sun, Martha whispered a silent promise to always protect and cherish them, for they had given her a gift far greater than she could ever repay, the gift of love, resilience, and the unbreakable bond between a woman and her horses. As Martha reflected on their journey, she realized that sometimes the greatest gifts come from the most unexpected places and that love has the power to conquer even the darkest of days. Thanks for watching. <laughs>